getting back to the get back. So again, this is Christina Rome. She is a TV reality star from the Bad Girls Club season nine, I believe. She is claiming that LeBron James, LBJ, is actually or actually waited at an airport for her for three hours. And she declined, denied linking up with LeBron, having him wait at an airport for her for three hours because she knew or she found out that he was married. She didn't really know who LeBron James was. Like, really? It is a true story. Like, LeBron James waited at an airport for like three hours. I never showed up. I know most girls would have hopped on that flight. Mm-hmm. And they would have been sweating it. And I was like, yeah, no, bro. I found out you're married. I didn't even know. I don't watch sports, first of all. Mm-hmm. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't watch sports. So I didn't even really know who he was. Yeah. I just, I remember I had the sneakers one time. So I was like, oh, you're that guy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm a, ooh. And then I was like, he's married. I was like, oh, no, this is going to ruin my image. And I was like working with John Mayer at the time doing music. So I, mm-hmm. I, I have my own stuff going on. Now, I, you know, everybody know I'm a big LeBron supporter. So. I wish that we wasn't here now, but we are. We are. And I'm listening to this girl's story and her account of everything. And I'm just like, yo, here we go again. Here we go again. I'm looking at the Kiki Palmer situation with her and her baby daddy. I'm seeing how social media is definitely trying to tear that relationship up because of, you know, that situation with her and Usher and all that. And you know, we got the Remy Mob Pat Poop situation. Yo, there is a big thing with trying to break families and 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 love up, bro. Like, why are we going at LeBron and Savannah in this manner with stuff that really just don't be adding up? Now, I'm gonna keep it a buck because we gotta talk about the history of Christina Rome. You know, she she's from Jersey. You know, people are going to talk about her addiction. She was in a rehab. I think she was addicted to opioids or something at one time, but she's worth like $3 million right now. So I don't really want to talk down on her about being a junkie or a former junkie or, you know, stuff like that when she's leveled up. But I'm just like, how do you not know who LeBron is? Like when you start to say stuff like that, that's where to me it becomes like a big old reach, a big stretch. I'm like, how do you not know who LeBron James is? Much less not know that he's married. Like, that's been his girl since high school. Even if you don't know, like, sports. She says she's not a sports fan, and she ain't really want to make it seem like she didn't know sports. But I'm just like, bro, how do you still, how do you not know who LeBron James is? People, grandmother, like, it just didn't make no sense. My man Good Seven said she was lying. I, 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 man, she didn't have no hesitation with coming up with this story, bro. I gotta hear it one more time. Let's let's listen to, to this one more time, bro. Cause like, I, I'm definitely, it is a true story. Like LeBron James waited at an airport for like three hours. I never showed up. I know most girls would have hopped on that flight. Mm-hmm. And they would have been sweating it. And I was like, yeah, no, bro. I found out you're married. I didn't even know. I don't watch sports, first of all. Mm-hmm. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't watch sports. So I didn't even really know who he was. Yeah. I just, I remember I had the sneakers one time. So I was like, oh, you're that guy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm like, Ooh. And then I was like, he's married. I was like, oh, no, this is going to ruin my image. And I was like working with John Mayer at the time doing music. So I, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I have my own stuff going on. Yo, this girl is bugged out. LeBron waiting at an airport for three hours without nobody seeing him, no paparazzi taking pictures of him, wondering what he just doing, lingering around. LeBron James. (laughs) Maybe she's like, if she wouldn't have, I'm going to keep it real. If she wouldn't have said marriage, I'd have thought she was talking about Bronny. I was about to say, oh, my man, Bronny is really leveling up right now. Like, 
But come on, man. Like, let's be real. Exactly. Uh, like, it just doesn't make no sense the stuff that this young lady was saying. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not trying to say LeBron is perfect. We really haven't heard any stories of infidelity, anything that really stick when it come to him throughout his whole career. But I don't know that man personally, so I don't know what type of time he on. But some things just don't make sense. I am not even waiting at a damn airport for three hours for somebody. So why would he? Like, it just kept. And I don't know sports. I didn't really know who he was. So how did he get your number? Like, how did, if you didn't know who he was, how was he able to contact you? And you guys have a rapport so much that a, a travel situation got initiated, according to you. Plane tickets had to be bought. You know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron would have had to open his schedule for this situation. Like, it just is crazy. Bro, these people, yo. And it's just sad, yo, because at the end of the day, it ain't doing nothing but causing trouble in the home. 